Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Geneforge. So, uh, we're still here, we're about to deal with these nasty pylons in some way or another, um, but first of all, I want to mention that the bug that I've been going on about uh, for these last two episodes has actually been fixed. In fact, it has been fixed mere hours after filing that bug report, so uh, massive kudos to Jeff for taking care of that, yeah, I, I think, like four hours after I... after... Uh, I posted that on the Steam forums, um, the hotfix was already out and now it's working. Uh, so yeah, a shining example for game developers everywhere. And uh, I'm saying that completely unironically, in case I wasn't clear. So um, that's great, no longer have to worry about that. Um, we do still have to worry about these pylons and they are a problem for sure. Um, now of course, um, I, I was I was kind of wondering last time. Um, you know, was, wasn't this supposed to be the easy way, like, to, to bypass all the combat? But I guess it's not necessarily the easy way, just the non-combat way. Um, and while I do probably have the mechanic skill necessary to uh, deal with whatever mechanisms um, will ultimately deactivate all these pylons, I do have no stealth. And, uh, yeah, stealth would probably allow me at sufficient levels to just walk past these things without them even starting to shoot, so that's the idea. Since that is not the case, I will have to somehow deal with them. Um, I don't know which way I want to go, though. It seems like over here there isn't much. There might just be one room. It could just contain some sort of reward, maybe. Or it could have the master switch. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think. I mean, of course, if this is the main entrance here, over here, right? Um, from the dock side of things. So... In that regard, it would make sense for the master switch to be at the very end of the facility, which would be around here. But then again, there is another entrance here that is not the official entrance, and it did take some... Well, it really took... All it took was uh, going through some mines uh, to, to reach that, but it's not the official entrance. So it's possible that this leads straight to the heart of the facility, but then there is also this uh, elaborate path that starts here with, with, with the, you know, setting free those clawbacks to distract them, uh, to, dis to distract the pylons in that room, the uh, cover provided to allow me to sneak past. Um, so maybe the control room is really just in the middle, and no matter which way you start from, you'll have to deal with some pylons. Um, that being said, I will first try to, uh, to see how feasible it is to actually destroy these one at a time. Because uh, at least a couple of them we should be able to theoretically take out that way. So, uh, yeah, let's just do that first. Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to uh, cast Essence Shield on myself. Enter combat. So it's... Eh, 57 is okay, I guess. Um, so it stays preserved for as long as possible. And I, I think, since I have the shield, I want to be the one to open the door. And then everyone else should get an attack off, at least. And I should definitely survive that first attack. Hopefully also a second one. That's the idea anyway. So I'll wait for everyone. I probably, if I really wanted to go all in, I would also cast Haste. Or at the very least, War Blessing to improve everyone's damage. Because these things do have 50% um, damage resistance. Which is unfortunate. But oh well, let's do this first. Can I reach you from there? No. 29. That is not amazing. 24. Okay, there's two attacks at least. The damage is actually... Oh, well, the first one was a crit, so that was okay. Of course, these things are immune to acid. So. Oh, right. You're the cursing the right. Curse resisted, so... I don't know if it's... It doesn't say specifically, right? I don't know if curse counts as mental or if it's just not listed among resistances. Anyway, that first attack was not so bad, so we got lucky in that regard. We should be able to take this out, except it also explodes for 100 damage. All right. <sighs> Good to know. But only I was affected, so it's not infinite range. Still, that was kind of a kind of a dick move, as they say. Okay, I'm still gonna follow the same plan basically, but I mean, I guess there's no reason to 
waste a turn. We can just go ahead and do this. I guess on the first opportunity I'm just gonna have my main character retreat to uh, where the creatures are. Can you shoot from there? Yes, okay, that, that's good then. Okay, they, they're also safe at this distance. Which means I should be safe at this distance. Ah, but someone has to... Oh, right, someone has to be standing. Hmm, that being said, shouldn't I be able to shoot it from here? Um, yeah, but that still closes the door. I don't know what I was thinking, what I thought was going to happen. Um, so someone will actually have to keep the door open. Was I, was my character standing here or here? They might be safe. I don't know. They might not be. Oh, right. I I guess I was no longer shielded. All right. Well. Hmm. What's the best way to deal with this door situation? I guess. Well, I can't really position everyone around here to uh, to be able to shoot this thing across the spikes while not also being um, in range of this thing, right? Probably. Maybe. I guess, if we can stand there and not be attacked by that one, that might work. That might, should give us enough room to work with. Um, okay, it's unfortunate that everyone was a bit too far away. Okay, no, let me... We need we need all the, all the turns we can possibly get. So let's just get everyone to around here. Enter combat. Walk over there. Start attacking. Can you shoot from here? That helps a lot. Never quite sure about this line of sight. If you can shoot from there, that would be nice. You cannot. But surely... Nope! Okay. Well. Oh, and we can... We can be attacked from there. That's... Okay. That doesn't work then. Okay, this is proving... Already proving more annoying than I... Than I thought. I mean, we can do it through the door. We just have to make sure... I, I mean, worst case scenario, I'm gonna sacrifice someone to hold the door open. I guess I could technically use, uh, like, a low-level Fiora, the, the cheapest possible creation, to just hold the door open. Hmm. Or... Yeah, ex actually, uh, I can't concentrate on making a creation when an enemy is visible. Come on. Ah, it's still visible, huh? Ugh. Come on. Nope. Can we, can we just stand over here? It's still visible. Why can't we see so far? Uh, okay. We should be able to safely get past, like so. Don't, don't. Okay. Can't see any enemies. So we can do this. Uh, six. This is also six. So I guess ultimately it doesn't matter. Let's just... Uh, Summon uh, opener, door stopper. The Fiora. There, that's a decent icon. Okay, and we have it stand just to the to the side of the door, where it should not be able to, where it should be safe from attacks and explosions, hopefully but keep the door open for the rest of the party. That's the idea anyway. We'll see if that works. Uh, save. Keep saving. But I guess I do have to. Um, well, you guys wait around here. And Doorstopper, you're gonna do your job like so. Okay, and we just stand at a safe distance, if at all possible. Which might be this. If this works, I guess... Oh, you can't see from there. Can you shoot from there? No, you can't. So you have to be at least this close, which is probably close enough to be attacked back. Maybe. Or 
Or not? Wait, oh, you get your turn. Okay. That was a crit. Yeah, I guess if... Hmm. Although, shouldn't we be able... Well, at least the, the squishier units can definitely be standing in the back row. Okay, let's try that again. We're on... Great start. Wonderful. Let's just do this. Um, so we can stand here safely. Door is not opening yet. Oh. But now it is. Okay. Oh, you can't. Mm. Thought the angle was going to be right. Well, never mind then. I suppose if I want to play it super safe, I just. Uh, who deals the lowest damage? Here's. Your attack is. Uh, I don't see. Which I can see here. 19 to 53. And yours is 19 to 49. Hmm. I mean, it's almost the same. Neither of your special effects are going to make a difference, I think. But acid is definitely. Acid definitely doesn't work. First might work. Um, right, just wait. Oh, and we can attack. Can be attacked back. Never mind. But last time. When I killed that one pylon that I did kill, um, if I remember correctly, what happened was that it only attacked back after I gave it an opportunity uh, to attack someone who was one one step closer, right? Up until that point, it was not attacking anyone. In fact, it's not attacking anyone now. That is really strange. Oh, and it can be cursed. Okay, that's really good to know. Yeah, I mean, it's not attacking anyone now, even though it it's demonstrated that it could hit either of us. No, that, why did you do that? Okay, thankfully that was the killing blow. And also thankfully my line of sight assumption did work. Wow, okay, that was that took some work, my god. Yikes. I'll save that, for sure. Uh, get those. I mean, now at least we don't have to worry about uh, being shot in the back. Uh, combat will continue. No, please exit combat. Thank you. I just have to figure out uh, its attack range now. This one's attack range. Where we can safely stand. I mean, as far away as we can be and still attack, right? That should, should do the trick. So this might work. Oh, okay. Never, never mind. Why did it attack twice? Immediately? Yeah. Hmm. So maybe this is exactly one tile too close. And of course, diagonals are going to make things more awkward. So we'll have to stand this close to be allowed to attack. Oh, wait. Can? Attack from here. Hmm. Well then, maybe in that case... No, maybe we are safe? I guess I'll have you attack as well, because why not? You miss. Yeah, I mean... You're only level 8, despite, you know, despite some extra levels from skill. Okay, this, uh, this is working. Yeah, it seems to be that there is this weird quirk that these things will only be allowed... They could technically shoot this far, I'm, I'm sure, but they will have to be able... They will have to have some target at this range first, which they will then attack, and after that they can attack at least once at their max, maximum theoretical range. It's, it's kind of strange, and it's definitely kind of exploity, but at the same time, I'm going to take it, uh, arguing that me being a shaper, I know about how these things work, and I'm just able to exploit some sort of design flaw or 
design peculiarity, and that's why this works. What is this? You recognize this room. It's a termination chamber for the most troublesome criminals and rogue creations. Yikes. Okay. Someone or something has at some point been exterminated in here, and unfortunately there is nothing useful in here. So that was completely uh, pointless. <laughs> that was just... Oh well, we, we learned how to effectively deal with these things. Now, of course, this situation here makes it impossible to do what I just did. So we will take some hits, unless I just run past. But uh, I kind of don't, don't really like the idea of leaving this thing in my back, so I guess I'll just have to get lucky. Oh, it did not attack, even though it technically could have there. Well, I guess I'll try to make the best of it. That's not the best. Not at all. I guess theoretically we should be able to safely attack from around here somewhere. But that is... somewhat tedious. Um, I'm gonna keep my swishy units out of, out of range. Oh, yeah. So it just double attacks. You know what? I think it's it's uh, much better to uh, try and run past. Mm, not sure about this one. Maybe one at a time. It's attacking me. But, oh, I, I was found okay, well. GG. <laughs> oh, of course it starts attacking immediately. Oh, but this time it only attacked once. So who knows. I guess I'll just try my best. I'll have you walk as far away as possible to maybe get you to safety. Uh, I... These are going to die. There's no no way they, they will survive. Well, you least of all. And you're stunned. And attack twice and I'm dead. God damn it. I mean... I hate that this is... I hate that this is... Uh, this basically requires me to save scum. Um, and I suppose I could technically give everyone essence shields and allow everyone to definitely survive one attack and make it pass that way, but that's also not really... I mean, it's doable, yes, but it's it's super tedious. Uh, so, I, I don't know. Somehow I, I'd rather keep trying a few more times like this. I guess I'm gonna at least give myself a shield. Okay, I can still be attacked, but I was... I absorbed it and I did not get... Uh, get stunned, which is the most important part. I might be able to just, just safely attack from there. You know what, if I can do that... And it seems like I can. Oh, nope, never mind. And I'm stunned and oh. dead. <laughs> it just... I don't know. Are these things just random? Do they just decide randomly if they can or if they will attack a target that they can technically attack? It's it's kind of strange. It definitely didn't attack for one turn, right? But then the next turn it did. <sighs> so where was I standing exactly? Attack. I evaded. I was shielded. Neither of those stunned me. This is further away than I was before, right? Or is it? It feels like this is too far away. Yeah. So I will need to be standing here to attack. That might be one tile further than I was before. Okay, this seems to be working. Nope! It just randomly decided to attack me again. And of course then it double taps and kills me. I give up. I I have no idea. There is no rhyme or reason to it. Um, 
I mean, I could sneak past and try this this whole stealth section again, but I don't have the stealth required for it, so I will have to do some brute forcing or just get extremely lucky. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> man, I, I mean, I knew this was going to be a thing, but man. Uh, and there is no other way around it, right? I mean, this entrance is also completely uh, protected by pylons. And I don't expect the main entrance to be easier to sneak in or to brute force in. So, if anything, this should be the easier approach. Um, and I'm just not... I mean, I'm, I'm not going to invest in stealth. I don't think so. Um, even if it might only take a couple of points to, to give me enough to, to sneak past. But, you know, I, I don't want to spend even a couple of points at something that's only going to have a, uh, an effect in very few areas. But I also obviously don't want to leave this unexplored, so uh, I'll have to do this, unfortunately. So, um, yeah. Um, okay, what, what's, what is the best approach? Do I try killing this thing? Do I try running past again? I guess I'm, I'm gonna try to get more than one, more than one of us across. Uh, yeah, he'll just be the decoys, I guess. Done. Got kind of lucky. Um, I mean, I guess I can safely heal you from here. You can reach safety. Actually, both of you can. Wait, you were uh, you were stunned. Okay, good. That's that's fine. Get attacked again and again, and you're dead. It's fine. I'm I'm gonna accept it for now. If I do end up winning. By winning, I mean, first of all, just destroying this one thing here. Um, then I'll take it. Yes, you attack me. I'm shielded. I'm stunned, and I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. Well, next try. Okay. Well, we heal you. You get to stand here and attack. I suppose, technically... Hmm, well, still, ideally I'd get both roamers across so they can attack from there. And whenever the pylon actually actually decides to attack them, I could be standing here and heal them from, safe, from a safe distance. That might work, so long as I don't get one shot. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not dead. It's going to take a very long time, though. But the pylon just doesn't attack every turn. No, it does. And more. Oh, I forgot to heal. That's fine. Oh, uh, you're not the right one. More importantly, it seems like it's just not double attacking now. Not only is it only attacking every other turn or so, but it hasn't double attacked a single time. So I really, really don't know what to make of this. Also, this is clearly not working. I'm just not dealing enough damage. I need to have more attackers. So uh, yeah, new plan, I guess. Maybe we just try the brute force method again. Well, it's not a great start. Maybe I should just... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just... Uh, I should just stand back to be able to heal from, from safety and have everyone who can attack attack. Critical is uh, always nice. I don't know if I even need my door stopper anymore. So. Okay, done and dead, unfortunately. I'm gonna heal you. Okay. 
I guess I could have made more more of an effort to keep everyone further apart. The curse has stuck for what it's worth. I'm gonna have you attack in melee because why not? You missed, okay. Well Eh heal her, I guess. Twenty damage. Ooh, hey, that's not bad, actually. Ooh, that's also good. Twenty-five, and that's a one-shot. And that was not a one-shot. Come on, Nira, you can do it. Or your stopper. Oh, you absolute champ. All right. You know what? I'll take it. I will absolutely take this. And. Um, I'm going to do some some editing magic and be back here with a full party uh, in absolutely no time. And just like that, we are here with four roamers because, um, well, honestly, neither the Artila nor the Vlish were really doing much. A Vlish with uh, a green Vlish with vulnerability might actually work against these things uh, by making them vulnerable and take more damage, but it's also still so squishy that, uh, you know, chances of it even applying that debuff before it gets killed are kind of slim. And, you know, I figured I'd rather go with some attackers. And also, you know, why not mix things up a little? Uh, there might be more effective combinations, of course, to, to do this thing. And, in fact, I might not be able... Uh, I might not uh, need to to kill a whole lot of... Uh, a whole lot more pylons and all if, you know, this whole sneaking through actually works out the way it's clearly intended. Um... But, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, right, first step is going to be to reach this thing. Now that I know a bit more about this room than last time, I can, I'm going to start out by casting Essence Shield, going in combat mode, leaving my creatures outside for the time being. Um, I'm going to... I don't know, can I safely stand back here, or is that in range? We'll see. Okay, apparently it was safe. I used the defense control. Yep, breaks off. I can only assume that that's scripted and not just bad luck. Or, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe more skill is needed to be safe. It's possible. Okay. Distraction has started. Um, maybe I should just make a run for it, honestly, at this point. I'm not going to make it all the way to here anyway. And this thing might attack me. We'll see. Yeah. You can do it, Clawbox, uh, or maybe not. Well, not you. Okay. Well, not okay, actually, because I got stunned. That sucks. And they're already dead. Alright. Wait. Okay, it's not my turn yet. Yep, I get attacked and killed. Wonderful. Next try. Um, I guess I can safely reach this location here. So no need to Essence Shield quite yet. Although, I would like to have that going before I release the Clawbox, because those are on timer, right? Those are gonna survive maybe two turns. And that's that. Um, so, I'm going to try that again. Breaks off, open the cells. And, uh, right. The first Clawback dies. And I'll walk maybe here? I can still see the stupid... I don't know how I can see th this pylon, honestly. That makes no sense. Is it going to attack me from there? Maybe. These pylons are distracted for now. I see a canister in there. I didn't see that last time. But of course, I'm much more interested in finding a, some sort of control room first. This was a claw bug. Oh yeah, okay, obviously these are the three cells that I opened. And it looks like the pathway continues, the corridor continues that way. Uh, this is, I'm once again going to be in reach of this one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. 
skip the appearance. I can move the camera, so whatever is happening now happens. Okay, I was hit and momentarily stunned, which means I'm dead, basically, because... Yep, it's gonna do the same thing again. I miss my turn again, unless it now randomly decides not to attack. Maybe I should stop here. Maybe that's... Maybe that might do the trick, but then I wouldn't really get anywhere. Huh. Unless I can make it... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Or here. That would leave me way too much out in the open, right? That's definitely in range. Hmm. That's that's what I was talking about last time, right? I mean, if, if only you could actually see enemy attack range, like, mousing over them, you'd see their a, a red circle around them, like in a strategy game, or, you know, tactics, technical RPG, where you typically see enemy attack range or movement range. That would make this so much better. This way it's guesswork or meticulously counting out tiles, which, uh, you know... Doesn't really seem like what you're expected to do. Okay, wow, the game uh, decided to spare me. You know what? I'll take it. Um, absolutely. Heal myself. You guys wait. I'm going to shield myself. Stand here and see. Oh, okay. That's actually not I'm actually not being seen by the thing. Um, if I exit combat now, I might come. Are my companions gonna stay there? For now, yes. I think, yeah, of, of course, until I actually give a movement order. Oh god, this is... this is... I mean, it's a, a little bit risky, but if all else fails, I can just keep reloading until until I make it through. Even though that's... that's particularly cheesy somehow, but... Well, for now, I'll take it. Um, shield, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, well, try to... This one's here. Oh, I can actually kind of see it there. And the other one... Oh, I cannot summon a ghost off the other pylon. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna just have to guess. Oh god, there are two. I'm definitely in range of these. So I just have to pray that uh, I won't get stunned, basically. Well, I did get stunned. And I died. All right. Let's try that again. Uh, I don't know where I stood last time exactly. Kind of, kind of hard to keep track of exactly which tile it was. I, I guess I could have tried remembering. I just chose not to. I survived that attack and I was not stunned, so I survived. I'm gonna flee into the cell. Okay. I mean, if you ignore all the all the saves coming, uh, this is very, very exciting actually. And uh, you know, just running, dashing from <laughs> madly dashing from cover to cover, and just somehow making it through, uh, almost getting killed multiple times, and somehow finding small safe spots to recuperate. Um, yeah, it's just unfortunate that I actually died uh, dozens of times along the way. Well, a dozen times perhaps. A dozen times. Anyway. Um, I mean, to be absolutely safe, I should save here again. But I think I'm no longer in range. Oh, well... Actually, I'm surprised I'm not in range of that one, but I'll take it. Whew. Okay, now what? How many more... How many more pylons are there going to be? Also... Well, that doesn't open. I'm guessing that's just the lever for this door, yes. Uh oh. Hello? Is there not a pylon? Oh, okay. Oh, that that's it. That has to be it. And I guess if the controls oh no. If um using the controls doesn't do the trick, I can always just uh, cause these uh either cause these uh oh, power source, yeah. Cause these power spirals to uh to explode or Maybe even successfully just deactivate them. And that should depower all the pylons, right? That's the idea. So I might actually be good here. Uh, 
I'm being kind of hopeful here. Uh, you find some sort of control panel. It is taking the energy from the power spirals and feeding them into a conduit in the walls. They must be powering something interesting or dangerous, or both. Before this area was abandoned, however, someone removed all of the controls. You can't use the panel to do anything. Well then, let's try option number two. This spiral is providing power for some equipment. Use it again to try to dig. Right, right, yes. Exactly what I was trying to do. Oh, you shut it off. And one more turn. You shut it off. Does it say anything here? Um, it still mentions the power. I guess I'll have one of you guys carefully look around the corner. They're definitely still around. Mm. Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay. I, I was just about to say um, that maybe I just need to pass one extra turn for it to register. You deactivated the automatic defenses. Okay, so in that that means that we should be safe, right? I'm gonna save again just in case. And okay, they are now inert. Yep. Holy crap, that took some doing. Okay, I also suspected that there was gonna be another pylon there. Yikes. Um, well, now I have this <laughs> party with the temporary uh, replacements. I mean, they're, they're gonna do fine in combat, obviously. Uh, was there? Yes, there was a reason to return. Also, I have obviously not stopped to check for sellable things like those or anything really. There's a cabinet as well. Definitely not the most elegant, elegant way to deal with this area, but really, uh, short of investing in stealth. As far as I can tell, the, the only way, unfortunately. Of course, there was no, you know, no real reason uh, to, to deal with this facility at all, because I had successfully bypassed it. But, you know, I just cannot leave an area. Uh, yes, I will learn more terror. Absolutely. Um, I, I just cannot possibly bring myself to leave an area unexplored. Not on the first playthrough, where, you know, I'm trying to see as much of the game as I possibly can. Okay, this door opens. Why doesn't this one? I hope I'll find some sort of key or maybe a servant mind? I mean there if if any facility should have a servant mind of its own, this one this one should, right? Uh, okay, that's just useless. Huh, okay. Explains why that wasn't locked, I guess. Is this open? Yes. Okay. First time we get some of these boxes here that we can actually Open. Oh. Huh. Clearing spores, living tool. Alright. More shielding spores. And major healing pod. Alright. Okay, I, I guess I'll take it. This is the main entrance. Oh, there are pools over here. Mm. Which means I could restore my proper party, but I mean since we are about to end the episode anyway. Um I'm going to just go with these ones for now. If there is any fighting to do. I'll do it with them, and if not, then I guess I'll just restore my default party between episodes. Curing plot, okay. I will take it. Um, hmm. Oh, wait, did I... Did I... But this didn't open before, even while the power was still active. Maybe I... Uh... Oh, no, never mind, this opens now. Weird. I was gonna say maybe uh, maybe I had I missed my chance to to open this door now to enter this room because I shut down the power but yeah obviously all the other doors were still working so there was no no real reason why this shouldn't I just hmm, I don't know uh, yes we'll sell sell the thorns and the Isaac crystals and I guess I'll add these other things to my stacks because why not okay is that really all was that it I mean ultimately that was well that was terror. Which is a spell that I use all the time, so... Um, again, I'm not really sure how... In, wh in what way it becomes better. I'm assuming it just... Uh, is more successful, has, has, is more likely to succeed. Um, versus things that have some sort of resistance. Because in what other way could it possibly get better, right? Um, it would be nice if it... If more levels made it cheaper, but that does not seem to be the case. So, yeah. No such luck. Okay, wow, well, that uh, took took a lot more effort than 
than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a little bit, you know, to take some effort, but not that much. Well, that leaves me with not a whole lot of time left. I, in fact, I could just call it an episode here, but that would be very unsatisfying. So I'm, I guess I'm just going to do the other thing that I was planning to do next, even though that might end up taking a bit more time than I was planning for. But, you know, it's, it's fine. It's, it's okay. It might not even take that long. Um, I'm going to head on over here and contact Astro, as, I'm, as I've been asked to do. I mean, we already know where he is, right here. And since the... Well, I guess we'll see. Um, I'm assuming that the uh, that there's going to be... The, the base is basically going to fill this empty space here. Um, so uh, there should at least not be a, a ton of map to explore. We'll see. And what's past the door? What are you doing? What sort of help? I have a message here from Masha. Does that help? Apparently so. You also get some experience. She looks at it carefully. Yes, Shaper. We're glad you're here. Glad you're helping us. She walks up to the door and raps on it with her knuckle. The door opens briefly and she passes the letter through. Then she returns to her place. Now you can serve the true will of the Shapers. I know Astrov will want to speak to you. He can also give you aid. You may enter. I hope you know the Sholai, the Sholai tongue, though. The outsiders here don't know yours. Um, I mean, hopefully. Uh, how did you come to help the Sholai? I was a scout once, searching for the source of the spawners that were killing us. Actually, we have not seen any spawners in a long time. It has just occurred to me now. Hmm. <laughs> we've been we've had worse things to deal with lately, I guess. Um, then I saw the outsiders, the Sholai. I followed them. What happened then? I saw them find one of the spawners. They killed it. I knew that whatever, whoever they were, they were not our enemies. I approached them. They didn't speak my tongue, and they almost killed me on sight. I don't know why they are so afraid of Servals. I didn't know then that the foul takers of Kazk had joined with their leader. Uh, okay. Um, what happened then? They knew a few words of my speech. I showed them I am, I am not from Kazk. I wouldn't fight them. I followed them here, and I help them as I can. I know they are outsiders in Bardland, but they oppose Trashkov, the true enemy of the Shapers. So I serve them until the Shapers return and save us. All right, fair enough. Can you teach me any of their language? No, I have been learning their language, their, their tongue, though. I know very, very few words. Enough to know of Masha and to look for those bearing words from her and letting them in. Okay. That's fair. Well, then. Let's see, the door does indeed open. So far, so good. There's... Oh, there's ghosts somewhere. Hmm. Not really. <laughs> but of course, curios curiosity needs to be sated. Okay, it's just some food. Not a huge surprise there. Yep, some flour and some coal. Oh, hey, and Estraf is literally just sitting right here. This is a high, chilly cavern. The cold is blunted slightly by the small, smoky fire burning in the middle of the room. There are long strips of meal, uh, of, of meal of meat hanging from the wall, curing in the smoke. Several sholai are hiding in this uncomfortable chamber. When you enter, they nod cordially. They know that you have come from Masha, but they are understandably, understandably cautious. Though it still bothers you, you are getting used to seeing outsiders in Bartlands. You no longer feel you should automatically kill them, though it is always an option. Uh, an option, yes. I'm actually surprised to to hear this um, when, you know, I, I've been having more and more anger problems lately, at least uh, on a, a couple of occasions, but, um, well, I'm glad that is not the case now. You meet the leader of this small group of outsiders. He is a small man, thin and nimble, far less muscular than the other Sholai warriors you have seen. However, he is also quite agile and fast on his feet. Welcome, he says. His accent is very thick, but you can understand him, barely. Wait, his accent is thick? But he's supposed to be talking his own language. Hmm. I am Ast I'm Astrov, leader here, scout. It is good to hear from Masha. Thank you for being here. Greetings. I come from Masha, looking for information. Astrov speaks slowly and carefully, and does a decent job of making himself comprehensible. Okay, so now he's, he's uh, speaking Sholai. All right. Good. We are glad. We fight Trashkov. We hope you fight Trashkov. He is dangerous and mad. First I tell you our story. Then I say what we find. Well then, go ahead. Yes, Shaper. Story. I am Scout. Always been Scout. Can run fast and silent. Help many explorers when land on new land. Find food and roads and people to meet. 
Going on trip to your land, greatest honor. Meeting new people is marvelous. Sea journey, hard. We land here with only one ship and many death. Then Trashkov, mad. I'm sure you learned this from Masha. Yes, indeed. Should have learned most of the story there. I found a journal in a sea chest. Good. You learn base of story. Right. Uh, what did you do after you landed? Nothing. I'm eager to explore and contact, or just move quiet and see things, but Trashkov holds me. He only wants to use canisters of magic and learn strange shaper secrets. We wait, seeing day by day and mission fades from mind of Trashkov. Then I get final insult. Final insult. What was the final insult? Trashkov kidnaps a shaper. He takes one of your kind, called Gutch, but then Gutch flees and takes something with him. Trashkov furious. That not even final insult, though it horrible beyond words. No, final insult is he wants to go into wastes to find Gutch. This could could not be more far from our true goals and mission. Waste my skills and life for that. Uh, how did Gutch get here? Trashkov wanted Shaper help. One day goes out, comes back with Shaper. I think he traps Gutch here, like he traps you. Okay. What did Gutch steal? Trashkov said it was glove, but I do not believe him. Strange thing to steal. Yeah. Hmm. You seem to know what a glove is, at least. Um, but I, I, I believe it. I, I mean, I could. I, I I'm kind of thinking of, uh, of. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm mostly, mostly thinking of uh, the Simpsons intro, basically, where uh, Homer Simpson is handling something, something radioactive with these huge, uh, you know, um, shielded gloves. Um, obviously, I've also seen people actually using the real deal, but that's what came to mind first. So some sort of special protective gloves that allow you to handle some part of the Gene Forge, which would otherwise corrupt you, burn you, whatever. Anyway, uh, what happened then? I flee on small boat with Masha and Anfisa. Ship has to land east of Kask. Trashkov, without our learning, gets servals of Kask to fight for him, and they trap us. But Masha and I and my scouts, much stealth. We flee trap, and Masha helps us find this hidden lair. From here, we scout area. We explore. We try to find ways to Trashkov so we can kill him. But ways to get to him are hard. Need one who knows secrets of island. Need one with powers. Need you, Shaper. I want to tell you how to get to Trashkov. He takes your secrets. You can deal with him. Well, we'll see if I can. I definitely want to. That is my tale. I can tell you what lies to northeast. I can tell you way to Geneforge. All I ask is you help us. Um, okay. You don't give me the option to agree immediately, but I will. Um, he's trying to speak simply and slowly. Right. Uh, tell me a story. Uh, what is northeast of here? How do I get up there safely? To northeast is the research core, the great place where your kind made many huge things and much powerful magic. But it is guarded. You left many defenses. Oh, please, please, no pylons. In places Sholai snuck in, Trashkov left defenses of own. To get there, first you must pass river, then you are in the many ruins, then past ruins, hardest of all, is getting into magic learning place where Trashkov hides, and where the Gene Forge is. What is the Gene Forge? Trashkov say, oh, achievement, the secret. Ooh. Trashkov say, when he tried to get me to hunt Gutch, that it is combined essence of shaper power. Crystal canisters each only change one thing in you, but Gene Forge is all. The touching of it fills you, remakes you, fills you with power. I told him it sounded like mad crap. That led to him not liking me as much. Understandable. Gene Forge is your thing, a shaper thing, not for me. Hmm. Uh, how do I pass the river? Uh, using one of the many bridges, I'm guessing. Tra uh, there are two bridges. They are guarded by many of Trashkov fighters. He has a few humans to spare. He has few humans to spare, but he spares them there. Where's are turrets he grows? Deadly bridges. Uh, honestly, turrets are no problem at all. Unless they're different from the ones I've been encountering. Um, but I'll, I'll take a hundred turrets for each pylon. Gladly. Well, we'll see. Once we actually get there. Uh, deadly bridges. That is, that is way Trashkov and us went. You can go that way, but it is very, very hard. But we have found two other ways. Easier. One is the mines. Other is the pass. Where are the mines? You shapers had mines in the mountain northeast of Kask. Oh, okay. Uh, so basically just go go north uh, along the eastern coast to that mountain range. Mm, you filled them with traps. We found ways to both ends, 
but we never could get oh we found ways to both ends but we never could get past the pylons there oh no pylons never mind never going there that's completely out of the question now you can find corpses of those that tried go through those mines and you should find a way past the river i think you should be good with machinery and traps and stealth yeah well machinery and traps okay stealth not so much battling with pylons leads to death tell me about it uh the pass it is north of here and takes you past head of river where it can be passed. Trashkov has put many turrets and monsters. If you go there, be ready for much fighting. All right. Uh, where can I find a boat? I hope you will not leave us here with madness and Trashkov, but I will tell you that we have one boat left, a small wood one, in a dock northeast of Kask. Okay. I knew that already. Can you teach me more of your tongue? I know little of yours myself. I cannot help you. I am sorry. Okay, uh, tell me more about the wastes. They are northwest of here, nasty and full of your horrible monsters. And not natural waste, but poisoned. That is where Gertz fled. I don't know about it. I don't want to know about it. Poisoned how? When you shapers left, you left many tanks and pools of burning goo that you used for your work. Some of them leaked over the years. They burned the ground. There is some of this around Cask, a lot to northwest. Is there around Cask? Uh... I guess we've seen some some areas where the ground was kind of tainted. Hmm. What is in the wastes? Not far in is a band of Inutal servals. They are hostile. They attack all who get close. Oh, really? Uh, wouldn't those be the ones uh, who Eula is with? Maybe they're not going to attack me then. If I tell them who sent me. Uh, you will have a hard time talking to them. Well, we'll see about that. More to northwest is ruins. Old ruins. Old, old. Far in, that is where Gutsch hides. I didn't go there. The rogues are very dangerous. Okay, so, I mean, since I will need the gloves if I want to interact with the Gene Forge at all, I will have to go to the wastes first, right? And it's good to know about all those different paths that lead to the northeast, to uh, to the research core. But, I mean, I, I saw the bridges, obviously, and, uh, yeah, just getting there never seemed like a problem. Uh, I guess now that I know about pylons at, on at least one of the paths, uh, well, that's obviously a problem, but one that is going to be solvable. And, yeah. Again, I'm not really worried about the about mines. Well, mines are a bit annoying, perhaps, but uh, turrets? Pff, no big deal. Anyway, um, another question. Uh, why are you hiding here? Won't any servals help you? Oh, that's a new quest. I wasn't expecting that. When servals in Cask attacked and trapped us, we feared their kind. But if you can find serval leader who will help us, I would be most happy. We thought most of most or all of servals are like ones in Cask. Oh, they are not. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go talk to. Uh, forget his name. <laughs> leader of the Senate, Elra. Elra. Man, I haven't talked to that guy in a while. I guess that gives me a reason to go back there and, and see if maybe they have some new quests for me or something. Um, I haven't really heard anything uh, from them in a while. So, uh, I mean, they sh they seem reasonable enough, right? They they should be willing to, to help these guys. Um, anyway, uh, I could use some help. We'll see. Take what supplies you want. What is ours is yours. Without you, no hope of killing Trashkov. Oh, I'm looking for someone named Eula. Interesting that I now get the option to ask that. Or say that. Hmm... Well, I guess I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna ask about those shaper artifacts first, just in case I I need to go through all the dialogue again to get to this. Some are hidden away in the cave to the south. Maybe we found uh, maybe we found an old cache guarded by shaper guards. We think we saw a canister. You can have it. We fear those, rightfully so. When you hear the word canister, your skin grows flushed. Beads of sweat emerge on your head. You have a powerful desire to go find it. Yes, yes, indeed. How do you know me so well, game? Um. Oh, wait. It was describing my character, not me. Well, anyway. Uh, I'm looking for someone named Eula. Yes. Eula. She was a sage in our expedition. She travels around the island looking for shaper artifacts. She doesn't work with Trashkov. She hasn't been here for some time. He thinks. There is a colony of servals in desert to north. I think Eula says she goes there, but those servals are hostile. Threaten us when we get close. You will have to convince them to talk to you. Yeah, okay. I think that should work out. Um... I'm actually surprised I I uh, didn't get the kill Trashkov quest here. Um, 
and I, I never like officially agreed to help him fight Trashkov. Unless I'm just missing it, but no, I'm pretty sure I've talked about everything. Well then, Metal Earned the Secret, yes. And I mean, we still have this quest, Escape Sushi Island. Technically, that shouldn't involve dealing with Trashkov. Unless he <laughs> has the has the only key to the chain that chains the boat to the dock, uh, or something. Um, so I'll be the right. That's not over yet. You lost treasures. Um, right. Um, contact Nestor. Well, that quest should be complete now. As soon as I return to Masha, and that might get us through that door that she was guarding. Uh, find help for Astrov. Well, we, we did get that quest from him. And I'm assuming that uh, Elra will be able to help me there. Okay, I'm just gonna, gonna end the episode here very soon, but just gonna quickly take a look. He did say that the cave to the south... Trader's Cave. Uh, where? Trade? Oh, Treplev. Okay. Um, the cave to the south might have treasure. Might also... Ah, oh, hope oh, don't sell the turret there briefly. Okay, so there are definitely some defenses here. We're gonna deal with that next time. In fact, I'm just going to stop right here. We're gonna take a look at uh, Trebliff's little shop and see if there are any more people to talk to and explore the rest of these caves. And I guess we're gonna visit Elra, and then I'm not quite sure yet. I guess I'll figure something out. There's still the Serval Warren that. I'd like to get out of the way because it's just sitting there unexplored. Um, and yeah, I guess then before I even start heading in the direction of the main facility, I'm going to turn my attention to the uh, the waste next. The creatures I've seen there are about my level, so that should be okay now. Um, that might just be the area that I'm naturally expected to to explore next. Right, there's all oh free place might that be no that couldn't be the area that couldn't be the the Inutal colony he was talking about first of all they're supposed to be in in the wastes and also there's no quest marker there so I have definitely not found the area where Eula is I'm expecting that's more around here somewhere even though he, again he said to the north right but those kinds of uh, directions are to be taken with uh, many grains of salt because yeah. It might have corresponded more closely to the uh, to the arrangement of the areas in the original, but now in the remake, maybe they have just been slightly rearranged, and it's more of a vague suggestion at best in most cases. Anyway, that's all um, oh, right, and we also have to return to Masha and contact that uh, and then report that quest. Unless I already said that I was going to do that. Again, these these uh, <laughs> outro ramblings are mostly just to remind myself in case I I don't play for a few days or so, just so I know what I had been planning. And um, yeah, that concludes that. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.